You're watching a slice of nightlife, a weekly look into Rutgers athletics. It has been a monumental week in Rutgers athletics. In men's basketball, Coach Steve Peichel and the Scarlet Knights are nationally ranked for the first time since the 1978-79 season, sliding in at number 24. The good news is uh, we're ranked 24th all right, in the country, first time that that's happened, so I'm happy for my guys for that. That's sacrifices they've made to put them in that position. The bad news is, you know, we're picked 12. That's what they thought of all of us. And hopefully that, you know, stays with them. And we got a lot to prove and we got a lot to continue at the sixth toughest schedule in the country, not just in our league, in the country uh, remaining. So we got huge tests coming up as we continue the season. For the women's team, Arella Garantes scored her 1,000th career point in the team's matchup against Michigan State. Free throw gives her 1,000 career points. The redshirt junior is one of only 39 athletes to reach this milestone on the banks. And to top it off, Garantes scored a career high in that ball game as well, ripping the Nets for 28 points. The gymnastics home opener on Saturday brought big results for freshman Hannah Joyner. The Maryland native scored a 9.925 on the balance beam, tying the school record for that event, which was set last year by her teammate, Belle Huang. And in women's track and field, Rutgers school records continue to fall as junior Courtney Campbell set a new mark in the high jump. Yeah! And freshman Claudine Smith set the new school record in the triple jump. Stay tuned. Slice of Nightlife will return in a moment. I'm Kayla, and this is what I work for. I need health insurance that makes things easier for my schedule so I can focus on what matters. This is how Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey works for me and him and her. Let's take a look at the past week's action in Rutgers Athletics. Make sure to come out and support your Scarlet Knights this week on the Banks. And don't forget to tune in again next week for another Slice of Nightlife.